OK, uh, we mentioned a bit earlier on, we've had a pretty big story breaking <laughs> in Germany. That's putting it lightly, which is uh, that Bayern Munich have announced that Thomas Tuchel will be leaving at the end of uh, this current season. We know that they have been struggling of late, lost three competitive games in a row, eight points off uh, Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga and 1-0 down to Lazio in their Champions League last 16 tie with a return leg to come. Uh, let's speak to um, uh, Florian Plattenberg from Sky Germany and get a little bit more on this. Um, Florian, you've been reporting that, that Xabi Alonso uh, is Bayern Munich's top target. How interested do you think he would be in the job at the Allianz Arena? <laughs> Well, honestly, I think uh, Xavi Alonso is very interested to take over as a new Bayern coach. But uh, we have to be honest, it's a very, very difficult situation for all parties involved. Right now, it's clear Thomas Tuchel will leave FC Bayern at the latest, at the end of this season. And now Bayern Munich has the possibility to speak with other candidates. And it's a typical Bayern Munich move to put Bayern 04 Leverkusen a little bit in danger right now because uh, you have explained it. Um, they are eight points uh, behind in the German Bundesliga. And uh, Bayern Munich, they want to put the pressure on Leverkusen now. Well, first of all, we hear it clearly and to 100% that Xavi Alonso is very focused on winning the possible treble with uh, Bayern Rolfi Leverkusen. He's not motivated to speak about Bayern Munich. He's not uh, motivated to speak about Bayern Munich in the background. He's really, really focused on Leverkusen. And we really have to say that it's not 100% clear that Xavi Alonso will say yes to FC Bayern. And all the Bayern bosses, they are informed about the difficulty of this possible transfer from Xabi Alonso to Bayern Munich. But my understanding and my information is that at this stage, Xabi Alonso is more willing to join Bayern Munich instead of joining FC Liverpool. And this is also a news I can give you. Uh, Bayern Munich, this is our clear exclusive news and information. They have already inquired about Xabi Alonso, but we also have heard that FC Liverpool have also inquired about Xabi Alonso in the last couple of days and weeks. And this is it, isn't it? When you, when you put all this together, Jurgen Klopp's departure at the end of the season means that there are two managerial vacancies that, that he could fill either one of those. I mean, such a dilemma for, for Xabi Alonso, but, you know, amazing to be in his position right now. Just how tough is it going to be to take the decision, not just for the present, but for the future and what he can build to either of these two clubs, Liverpool or Bayern? Well, I, I think, and I, as I said, I can really imagine that Xavi Alonso will stay in the Bundesliga because we hear that he feels very comfortable in Germany, very comfortable in the Bundesliga. And he's very familiar here in the Bundesliga. And to be honest, and this is my personal opinion, I think that Liverpool, if you look at all the other top clubs, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, all the top clubs they are, uh, which are looking for a new coach in the next season, I think it's very, very difficult for FC Liverpool to find the right coach after this big, big, big and successful era of Jurgen Klopp because I think it's very easy to lose as a new coach of the Reds. And uh, if you compare this situation to FC Bayern right now, you can win a lot because uh, there's a totally different situation in summer and Bayern Munich will appoint Max Eberl on Monday to the new sporting boss, to the new transfer boss. And Max Eberl and Christoph Freund, the new sporting director, they are now in charge to find the right coach and the absolutely plan A is Xabi Alonso, but they have also a plan B and a plan C. And uh, before I forget that, uh, this is my information before we have spoken now. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, that was my exclusive news a few days ago. In the case that Thomas Tuchel would leave FC Bayern in the next one or two or three weeks, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the former Manchester United coach and legend, is one of the interim solution candidates for FC Bayern. Very interesting. It would be absolutely fascinating to see how Ole Gunnar would fare uh, over there um, in Munich. I, I guess the other question is, is there a potential that Xavi Alonso could stay at Leverkusen? This is uh, absolutely possible um, because he has a long-term contract and uh, I, can I can only repeat what the bosses say in the public 
and in the background. They are totally convinced that Xabi Alonso will stay for one more season at Bayern 04 Leverkusen. If this is uh, realizable, honestly, I have no information because uh, now there are new cards on the table. It's a completely open poker game. And um, yeah, we, we have uh, also reported about uh, the fact today that Hansi Flick, Julian Nagelsmann, Jürgen Klopp, we know he wants to make a break for one more uh, or for one year, and Thomas Tuchel, all these four top co coaches from Germany, they are all on the market. So a very, very crazy uh, summer transfer window regarding the coaches ahead. And uh, we have not spoken about the crazy thing that uh, Pini Zahavi is in charge for a new club for Thomas Tuchel and for Hansi Flick. So, yeah, it's absolutely possible that Xabi Alonso will stay for one more season. But honestly, I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely crazy, as you say. And there are other managers around, like Jose Mourinho, for example, you know, Antonio Conte, that, that are also looking for jobs. And incredible, isn't it, Florian? You've got Bayern Munich, you've got Liverpool, and you've also got Barcelona all saying mid-season that their coaches won't be there beyond the end of the season. It's such a unique situation. And I guess with, with Bayern, I mean, Three competitive defeats in a row hasn't happened for a long time. Was it inevitable that Thomas Tuchel simply had to go, even though it is at the end of the season? Once again, please, please, uh, could you give me a question once again? Sure. Is, was it inevitable that, that Tuchel would have to, to go because three defeats in a row, Bundesliga and Champions League, that just doesn't happen to Bayern Munich, does it? It's been such a long time. Well, it's a very difficult situation for, for FC Bayern and uh, you have to be honest, uh, all the people in charge, all the people involved, they have all made mistakes. Bayern Munich is playing a very, very bad football at this moment. And uh, we have spoken a lot about Harry Kane. For sure, he scores and he scores and he scores. But to be honest, he's not 100% integrated in the Bayern Munich game. And um, we have a lot of uh, players who are unsatisfied with the, with the situation. But now the team is in the focus. And uh, I have spoken to a lot of players in the background and they all say that Thomas Tuchel is a very, very good coach. For sure, if you transfer, if you go for Thomas Tuchel, you know which character he has. He's ha he has a very, very, very specific character. But now the team is in duty. And not Thomas Tuchel, not the bosses, but you said it. Uh, three defeats in a row. This is a very, very bad situation for FC Bayern. And if you lose three times in a row, it's a big, big crisis here in Germany. And uh, to, my, to my personal opinion, I don't think, uh, and I can really not imagine that Bayern Munich will win a title this year. And you also have to be honest, they don't have to deserve a title like the championship because Bayern with Leverkusen, they play amazing, amazing football. So we cannot exclude that Thomas Tuchel will definitely stay until the end of the season. This is why Bayern Munich is preparing a plan B of a kind of an interim solution in the background. And if they will fulfill that plan that Thomas Tuchel will stay until the end of the season and they don't have a chance with, with uh, Thomas Tuchel, then Zinedine Zidane is definitely an option because they have already discussed about Zinedine Zidane internally. Florian, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed.